Hello! Welcome to Zim Capture. I'm inventor Dan Zen, and Zim at zimjs.com is an open source framework to help you code interactive media on the HTML canvas using JavaScript and CreateJS. In this capture, I'd like to take a look at how to add shapes onto the stage, like circles, rectangles, and triangles, and talk about the registration point and a few other properties. Let's go into some code now. Cladump. Now what we've done is taken a fit template and removed the button, called it shapes.html, and maybe change the background color because we want to code some shapes. Woohoo! So var circle, for instance, crickle. <laughs> Good start. Var circle is equal to a new zim.circle. And let's just see what a default circle looks like. Now what we've done here is we have a circle class. It's stored on the Zim namespace. We're making a new circle object from that class and storing it in the variable called circle so that we can do things like circle.center on the stage. That's a method of the circle. And let's try and see what that looks like. Open in browser. There it is, a little black circle. Oh yeah. Now, if we wanna know how to change the color of this or set the color of this to start and radius etc that stuff we will open up a new tab here go to zim wow, pizzazz, and hit the docs and type in circ enter and here's circle we can pass it a radius a fill that's its color a stroke color and a stroke size you can get a description about the circle see what its parameters do and its default 50 in black that's why it shows up how it does things we can do to it for instance we could center it as it's mentioned there also drag it and move it and we'll try some of these things various properties as well as these properties like x and y which we'll you know we'll definitely take a look at so uh let's pop on back here and make the circle bigger how about a radius of 100 and a color of red so we save that and up, save that, update the stage, refresh, and there's a nice big red circle. Woohoo! Now, we had centered the circle on the stage, and there is another way to add things to the stage, a sort of more conventional way, and that is we say stage.addChild circle. Semicolon. Now let's see what that does. Now what's going to happen here is the circle has a registration point in the center. And it's the registration point, it's almost like that's what you would pick up and place. And by default, the circle is at x of 0 and y of 0. That's its x and y properties. They start off at 0. And 0, 0 is the corner of the stage, top left corner. So what we're going to end up seeing is the center of the circle placed at the top left corner of the stage. And that's not terribly pretty. It's most likely not what we want. And there it is. So it kind of goes off the stage there. We can move its x position. That's fine. So we can say circle. And this is what we do do. Circle.x is equal to, say, 300. And we save that up and refresh here. And see how that moves over. And we can do the same with the y. As a matter of fact, let's see. The circle's radius is 100. So if we moved it just over 100, and we move it down 100, why? And save this, we'll see the circle tucked up in the left-hand corner. There it is. So 100 down and 100 over. Now, one way to sort of visualize this is to use the circle.outline method. And that comes with Zim. And what this does is it puts a bounding box around the circle and shows you where its registration point is as well. So refresh. That's a bounding box, useful for things like hit test bounds and stuff. We can visualize that. The circle here is its registration point, and the cross is 0, 0 within the circle. So that's the origin within the circle. We're not going to worry too much about that right now. That's more along the lines of containers when you put things inside of other things. So it's the registration point. You can see that it's been moved over 100 and down 100. All right, let's try a, a square rectangle and see how that compares. So var rect is equal to a new zim dot rectangle. I can do it. 
There we are, and we'll make this one, I don't know, 200 and 200, and how about blue? And we will center this one on the stage. Rect dot center on the stage, semicolon. We refresh here. Ooh, very nice, very primary. Yes. Ooh, kindergarten. All right, there's a rectangle, and let's take a look at its outline. Rect dot outline. Like so, and see where its registration point is. Ooh, top left corner. Okay, so rectangles get their registration point at the top left corner. Now, when we center it, it still centers the shape, the whole shape, on the stage, and that's kind of cool. So Sim Center doesn't exactly center the registration point, it centers the shape. Oh, we could do that with a calculation. We could say, hey, set the x position of this rectangle equal to the stage width minus half the width of the rectangle. And same with the y. Well, that's a calculation. And that, that actually becomes fairly complex when you start scaling the rectangle and rotating the rectangle and oh, yeah, yeah, nesting it inside of other things. So it's a good thing that we have uh, Zim Center. All right. Uh, let's see. Now, what else about this registration point, though? What, you know, great, we pick it up and that's where we place it. Uh, what else? does it do? Uh, well, it affects how we scale something. So if we were to scale this rectangle, it scales from its registration point. Shall we take a look? Now I'll leave the outline there. Outline is like a snapshot in time. So we go rect.scale2. By the way, rect.scale2 is short for rect.scale x equals 2, rect.scale y equals 2. That's just a shortcut made by Zim. So we're going to leave the outline there, and then we're scaling it. And the outline is like a snapshot in time. So it will show the original outline, but it won't actually scale that. And so we save that and refresh here. Okay, cool. So we can see that indeed the rectangle does scale out from the registration point. Now if we wanted to, we could take the outline uh, from here and place it after we scale it and then we get the scaled um, outline. But I kind of like the idea of keeping it beforehand and then you can see the difference. So along with scale, also rotation rotates around the registration point. So rect dot rotation equals 20. <clears throat> and we save that up and refresh here. And there you can see that the rectangle has rotated around its registration point. Now that might not be the end of the world right now, but if we were animating a rotation, shall we take a look? If we're animating a rotation, that's probably not what we want. So here's what that would look like. Rect.animate a rotation colon 360 comma in two seconds. Okay, save that up. So here we are. The properties that we're going to animate is a rotation to 360 and in two seconds. Okay. Probably not what we want. We would most likely want to rotate it around the center of the rectangle. And indeed you can see this. I'm going to adjust this kind of ignore this. This is uh, going a touch advanced where we deal with the Zim Duo technique. So the object is going to be the rotation, the time. I'm just getting to a loop that we can get to quickly. The time is that and a loop of true. So now it will keep on looping. Um, and the final configuration object. So now we're passing in one configuration object as a parameter with properties of object, time, and loop. Once again, we'll do a Zim capture in the future on this Zim Duo technique of the configuration object. And now the it loops, but on the other hand, it, you see how it's sort of stopping and starting there? Now we're sort of digressing. That's because the ease is happening. So if we say ease linear, like so, comma, then the uh, animation will be more smooth. Well, you know, it won't keep on stopping and starting. 
All right, let's bump that up to 300. Now we'll we'll comment out that registrate or we'll comment out the animation uh, and just point out that what we can do. So if something rotates or scales around its registration point, well, we can just change the registration point. All right, let's see how we do that. We will change the registration point. Uh, we better do it before we center to. That matters that much, but we go rect dot reg x is equal to say 100. Okay, and now we're still centering it, so we, we won't see much of a change there. And then we're outlining, so the outline should show us that change in registration. We refresh, and there it is. Oh, did I get lucky and go right to half? Yeah, sure enough, the rectangle is 200 in width. And we put the registration to point to half. How, how you would normally do that is you would say rect dot width, which is a property divided by two. And if we do that and save it and then scale it, so now let's bring back the scaling of it. So there's its registration point, refresh. You can see that, yeah, now it's scaling from this position equally on both sides. And same with rotation. This one's scaled and rotated. Okay, so rotating around that registration. What we're probably really wanting to get to, though, is both of these things, both the X and the Y. So, reg Y and the rectangle's height. So now, if we outline this, so we can see the registration point has moved to the center of the square. And let's bring back the animation. Ooh, isn't that nice? That's probably what we were looking for. Now it's rotating around the registration point. Well, it's nice, except this is all a little bit ugly. Well, it turns out we don't have to do that. Isn't that nice? So we comment that out. We can just say, uh, use the zim center reg so reg so rect dot center reg on the stage and what this does is it centers the registration point of the rectangle well that 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 would center the registration point of the rectangle it wouldn't add it to the stage but if we then say stage it centers the registration point of the rectangle it centers it on the stage and it adds it to the stage so all those three things at once and a refresh here and it's the same. Okay, isn't that great? Let's put that on pause. So there we have a centered registration point on the rectangle. Uh, the circle starts off with a centered registration point. We could adjust that too with the reg X and reg Y at any time. Let's check out a triangle. Woohoo! Okay, so var tri equals a new zim dot triangle. Now a triangle has three sides, so we can say 100 comma 100 comma 100, and then a color, and that color might be violet, <laughs> violet, violet, and semicolon. And we will stage dot add child try try dot x is equal to about 800. Try dot y is equal to 500. 500. Just put it down in the right hand corner. Okay, so we refresh here. And something didn't work. Stage dot add child try. Try dot x, try dot y. Save that up. Refresh. Oh, for Pete's sake, where'd the triangle go? Any idea? Stage dot add child try try equals a new zim dot triangle. It's supposed to be violet, and let's see what's happening. So F12, I must be getting an error. Zim dot triangle. Oh, little triangle. Oh, broken, broken, broken. Capital T on a class. So all these are classes. Now, no, if something doesn't show up, check check your um, check your console. Make sure you're not getting an error like that. And if it still doesn't show up, make sure you added it to the stage. We might have forgotten. If we forgot, it wouldn't add. And if it still doesn't show up, make sure you've got a stage.update after that. I don't know. <laughs>
Okay, so there's a triangle. Let's refresh here. Oh, there it is. A little bit small, a little bit out of place. Why don't we make it 200, 200, and 200, and move it down to 600. No big deal. Hey, nice. Okay, so there's a triangle. Now, triangles are sort of neat. How they work is if we change this to, say, 300 and save it, refresh, it's a fatter triangle. So the from here, that's 300, then it goes 200 and 200. There's a few special things you can do with that. You can um, leave off an angle and get a right angle. Uh, I think you get the right angle if it's a negative one. Anyway, check, check, the, uh, check the documentation on that. All right, it's pretty cool. I think if you just say negative one here or something like that, hope, hopefully this is how it's done. Yeah, then it, it turns it into a right angle triangle. So that's 300 and 200, and then it just finishes off for you. Um, obviously, if it's if it's here and pointing the wrong way, you see this is sort of going to be point, well, it might not be pointing the wrong way, but that's up. If we wanted it to point to the right, then we can rotate it. So that would be... Try dot rotation equals 90, and this will then point to the right. Mm, there she be pointing to the right. Okay, the registration points in the middle of this, it's not quite a weighted middle, and so the triangle actually comes with an adjust, but uh, that's, we'll leave that for later. Check the documentation on that. Yay for shapes! Woohoo! And now you can put shapes and a bunch of things. You can also make your own custom shapes using the Zim shape. And then you've got a graphics property that you can draw with, uh, just like you can draw on traditional canvas. All that is just piggybacking on the create.js, which is piggybacking on the canvas uh, draw commands. I am Inventor Dan Zen. This has been a Zim Capture, EA at ZimJS.com. We'll take a look at more captures in the future. Ciao.